use an expression for work done in terms of force to show that SI base unit of energy is this. And you need to know as a concept that energy and work done have same units. Work done equals to force into distance. And we know that the force is mass times acceleration times distance. Now, all you need to do is SI unit of work equals to kg for mass, meter per second square for acceleration and meter for distance on simplifying because I can see two meters and they are multiplying with one another. So I uh, make them write once and add their powers and it will become kg meter square per second square and now the energy stored in at in an electrical component is given by this q is charge and c is a constant use the equation to determine the si base unit of c and we have to find out unit of c first of all whatever you need to find the unit of and you are uh, asked for si base unit make that quantity subject of formula never ever start putting units as they are in the formula and then start shifting them from one side to another you are more likely to 200 percent more likely to make a mistake it is easy to, con to shift c from here to there and e from there to here but it is not easy to shift kg meter square per second square from this side to that side and keep all the units and powers intact so my suggestion always make the 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 variable under investigation the subject of formula so it will become c equals to q square divided by 2 e and remember these constant do not participate in making of units remember this is charge and the unit for charge is coulomb And in the last lesson, if I can find out, I told my students that uh, you will be happy and you will be more comfortable if, if you remember these SI base unit for SI units. If SI unit is Newton, you should know it is kg meter per second square. And if it is Joule, it is kg meter square per second square. If it is Coulomb, it is ampere second. And if it is Pascal, it is kg per meter per second square. A Pascal is not very important because you, you can always determine it when you need it. But you can determine these as well, but they make your job very easy because they're very commonly used in almost every unit or too many units. So if you remember them, they will make your job easy for these kind of questions. Now, here we have Coulomb and Coulomb is ampere second. So what you should do is ampere second square divided by kg meter square per second square. Remember, we we found this this unit in the previous part. Now, I, I want to shift everything from the numerator to denominator. It will become a square, s square, kg minus 1, meter minus 2, s plus 2. Now, can I simplify it further? I can see two s's over there. We have to make them one s. So it becomes a square s4 per kg per meter square okay 
So SI base unit will be A square S for one kg minus one and meter minus two. Now, moving on, measurement of a constant current in a wire are taken using an analog ammeter. For these measurements, describe one possible cause of a random error, a systematic error. A random error can be parallax error due to improper line of sight okay and sometimes it can be a positive error sometimes it can be a negative error and sometimes it can be a bigger error or smaller error depending on your line of sight so parallax error is also uh, is an example of random error in this case and one more can be he is not asking for the possible error in the meter in this measurement so one other error can be because of the fluctuations due to loose connection okay they can also cause random error systematic error for any analog meter the most common systematic error is zero error okay so zero error is a systematic 